Hi everyone, it's Linda G coming to you from Northern California where the air is thick with smoke, where I'm praying that uh, the fires don't hit Lake Tahoe, but my guide said it was gonna hit Lake Tahoe. So sorry about that. Um, but I think they'll get it done soon. I, I, I feel like they're gonna be able to take care of it. But I did see the Tahoe Basin getting hit. Okay. Um, I also want to give a shout out to our friend, Mark Rhodes. You all know him. He's a sweetie. He's recovering from back surgery and he's doing well. He's with his auntie, but he has a client named Finch that does the honey bears. And William Sonoma picked them up and they're making these bags. And he sent me two coffee cups today and I don't have them because they're in the dishwasher. But they're heck of sturdy. So just a shout out for Mark and for the artist Finch. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And he's talented. And, and uh, I, I should be able to find uh, some way you can go on. In fact, I think I have the, um, the your ability. Anyway, William Sonoma, you know how to look that up. And then just put honey bear. Okay, so. The reason I, I'm not doing live is because there's some things I want to talk about. First of all, let me open up. Here we go. Okay. So I got some hits. Oh, how do you like the new background? This Andrea with, uh, with uh, Lilac Lantern. She talked about this. You can buy these instead of using that big old heavy room divider. So I've got several different ones. And easy peasy. There's a pole thing. You clip it and you're done. It's cool. And you can also get sparkling lights for the back, but they can't really show unless it's darker. So, okay, so here we go. So I'm hoping all of you guys are doing good, but I got to tell you, I got some hits, okay? And you know, this is my, my guides. Those of you who followed me for a while, you know that as long as I can specifically hear them, I know what I'm talking about, but this is my interpretation. Maybe sometimes I get the interpretation wrong, but um, it's not over. So, and apparently I don't trust the Taliban either. I don't trust them, but apparently they said that the, that the prisoners that got released they regret some of them being released because some of them were good at building bombs. So, or making those kind of things that, that could do greater damage. So anyway, that's what was on the news, okay? And so um, the Taliban, I actually feel though, doesn't want any more of this happening. And they really want us just to go. But they're not gonna, they're saying, you know, people can live in peace, no. There's a lot of heartache here. And let me tell you something else. Most of Afghanistan is young people age 25 and under. So think about that. Most of them don't know what it was like living with that kind of restriction. And remember I told you they'll be coming up from under the ground. They'll be doing everything they can. They will, they will secure a new Afghanistan. That's what I'm getting. And, but they gotta get rid of the riffraff first. And they'll figure it out. They'll get kind of, they're going to be mad at the United States, but really, I mean, what, what more could we do besides the trillion dollars that we spent in the training? They could have done a better exit, but I know God, they're making fun of Biden. I don't watch Fox News, but I guess they're just, I guess he got choked up, you know, because he had a son in the service and he hates having to tell all those people that their, that their military children have crossed and husbands and fathers. And uh, they, they were saying, oh yeah, that's not a real man. No, I told jo uh, Don Jr. No, I guess a real man is a lion bankrupt. <laughs> I'll grab him by the private. You know, the, I said, by the way, let's do the film of him going up to Air Force One with the toilet paper hanging off his boot. Yeah, let's talk about a real man. So. But you know, it just gets ugly. And you know, they're looking for any little thing because trouble is ahead. Trouble is ahead. Okay. Um, 
So Katie's dream said ISIS is saying they are responsible for the attack at the airport. Absolutely, they are. Absolutely, they are. And we, you guys remember, I saw a couple of explosions. I'm telling you, another one's coming. I don't know if it'll do damage, but I see another one coming. Okay, so she's saying that the Taliban is trying to secure the airport to keep ISIS out. Yeah, they were upset. You know, some of their soldiers died in that in that thing. So, um, and the other thing I want to tell you guys, someone wrote me on Twitter and said, guess what? They have underground Marines right now who are coming there for free that are getting their brethren out that helped them while they were, at, while they were out there. They are moving underground, getting, finding them and taking them out on their own dime. What did I tell you? <laughs> well, not me, my guys. Try to act like a big shot, they'll smack me upside my head. So, okay, so Afghanistan has a lot of turmoil. Now, um, I do see China kind of coming in. You can't really own Afghanistan. I don't understand why Russia and those guys would think they can get in there. And No, these people are gonna fight. The Taliban may actually change how they work and not be as horrible. But it's going to be hard. We're going to hear a lot of stories. Maybe not the actual people within the Taliban, but the minions around it. Like they said, women stay inside because our guys aren't trained to be proper with women. What does that tell you? They can just go in and do what they want. Too, there'll be too many um, cooks in the kitchen. So, okay, SCOTUS, uh, this is from Blue Jay. Yeah, SCOTUS, um, uh, Justin Stephen Breyer. I'm just going to do a three card. Uh, just, just Stephen Breyer. Okay, yeah, he's making a decision. He's making a decision. It's hard for him to do this. He actually, oh, you know, he might even have something physically wrong with him. Something may have can't, can't come up that he's not feeling well or the doctor said something to him. But he's thinking it's better to step down. Interesting. Oh, listen, you know how they're all up in arms. Oh, if you pack the courts, blah, blah. Let me tell you, be careful when they come back in because they would pack the courts. Okay, so I see Stephen Breyer and I see somebody really good coming in. Another person of color. That's what I just heard. Diva wants to know, when will Biden's actions show that he was right to go into Afghanistan? To rescue people, you must mean, Diva. Um, yeah, they're trying to play. It's so funny how Trump and all, they, they all act, act like king and queen for a day. And, and, and they smell. They smell. And it's like... It's no different when one of your kids comes in and did you do that? No, mama. And you know, they're lying. It's like, they're just lying. So Biden's actions will at the end of the day show to be right. But I do still see Afghanistan struggling. I do see that. I see them hustling to get those, all those military out of there. And I feel the underground people come in and remove others. They were trying to say, you, you see some people, Americans, part of it was there's some Amer uh, Americans who are there's claiming to be Americans and they get them and they're not Americans, okay? The other thing is some of them don't want to leave. So Jen, the, uh, the White House press secretary said, well, you know, when the time comes, they need to get out, we'll come for them. But Jesus, you know, if you want to stay, see ya. So I don't know what that's about. Um, okay. Um, Paula wants to know, it, will more people get vaccinated? Absolutely, yes. Towards the end of the year, I see things calming a little bit down, but isn't it awful? Even children are really sick. And now the news just came out with that they think the, the variant is worse than the actual, because I remember reading people all over the world. I think maybe once or twice I heard about someone dying. 
this time with the variant, I'm hearing about people dying left and right, including my own cousin. So, uh, oh God, don't worry about Biden. JH said, will Biden be politi politically okay after all the hits that he's, been, that he's taken? You know, have you noticed something about him? When he works, when he's doing this work, I don't get any kind of a feeling that it's all about approval ratings. Unlike with Trump, you know. Um, Trump played the nastiness because it gave him better approvals, but he overdid it. And they say the minute Trump came into the White House, he was already planning on his run for 2020. He was already doing it. So I don't see Biden as, but I don't want you to think I don't see Biden running again and winning. I see him winning. But I feel like he goes in there and that's who he is. He's real. We're having press, press engagements now that they're not calling people um, terrible and name calling. Uh, people can ask questions. I love that, Jen. Boy, she, it's just a show into itself. Uh, but will he be politically okay? He'll be one of the best presidents ever in the United States of America. Mark my words on that. It will go down in history, just along with Franklin D. Roosevelt, John Kennedy, beloved, you know, Abraham Lincoln. Um, Mim said, will ET disclosures come from the government or ETs directly? I think it will come from the government. And people who are working around, I do see them going through humans and then these humans distributing their information, maybe even via the government. Okay, Katie Hobbs, will she, who is Katie Hobbs? I think she's somebody we want. Will she win the governor's race in 2022? Katie Hobbs. Are you going to win the governor's race in 2022? <clears throat> and then you heard Texas is just <clears throat> tearing up voting rights. Don't worry, all this will change. Ooh, according to these, she will. According to these, she will. Katie Hobbs, a win. Remember, I told you people are going to come out like ants. You think you got it all in in the bag. You think Republicans can stifle people? No. No. Um, yeah. Uh, G, G guys said, uh, you said there's going to be a civil war. Actually, yes. And it's more between the Taliban and ISIS-K. And I feel another group involved. So I just see people thinking they're going to be king for a day. But then I see the good Taliban people gathering together underground and getting rid of all, the, all this drama. Eventually, they'll have a, de a democratic nation, but it's down the road. Um, oh, Joni had a dream about Lauren Boebert was the mystery person planning the bomb at the Capitol prior to the January 6th insurrection. Any feeling on this unsettled vision? You know, it's funny you said that, Joni, because I feel like it was a woman. I know that sounds crazy. I just felt like it was a woman. No, my guys are telling me it wasn't her. No. Will they ever get the person that, that uh, They're saying no, not now. These were really good type people as far as intelligence on pipe bombs. Whatever they did, it's very hard to go back. I mean, they tried fingerprints and everything. Okay, so my guys are telling me, I guess they got something maybe a piece of DNA or a fingerprint. They got something, but it's not in the system. So just wait for that. But right now, no. Oh, 
Oh, Angie, yeah. She said the news coverage is so terrible. They're reporting the dumbest questions and not giving the least bit of credit for the hundreds of thousands that they've already evacuated. I mean, he's pulling this off. He's pulling this off. So, yeah, well, you know, it's, somebody said this to me and it's totally true. It's about ratings. They think if they act like, oh my God, look what he did, that maybe it could help. But I think it didn't help their ratings. So I, right now they're kind of going back. Just don't watch Fox News. And what do you think about those guys showing up in Afghanistan? Those two congressmen, you know, two more were going to come. The Pentagon said no. And you know, you're not hearing much about them. Nobody's saying anything. Because it's like shame, shame. Like Ted Cruz, when he went to Mexico in that boat with all those machine guns. Was that a joke or what? Oh, Emmy says, well, if they could just arrest or raid Don Jr. or someone close to 45 would take the heat off Biden. Don't worry about the heat. You know where Biden is. He's absolutely devastated about these servicemen dying. And he's really scared about another hit. And there will be another hit. I can guarantee that. There will be another hit. But, you know, they, they're going to get out of there. So I don't know if the hit's after they're gone. But it just I feel bad for the Taliban people. Um, so don't worry about it. Cause even my Rachel was kind of talking to stuff about Biden. I'm like, girl, I know you ain't said that. Oh, hell to the no. Mm -mm -mm. Listen, um, there's been earthquakes on the main island of Hawaii. And I'm going to tell you that volcano is going to rip. I could hear it as clear as day. The volcano in Hawaii is going to go off. Steve Breyer is going to step down. And when I heard Steve Breyer was going to step down, I keep feeling someone may exit suddenly, like Judge Thomas. So maybe when all that information comes in, when they get all the phone stuff, maybe his wife's right in the middle of it and he has to step down. I don't know, but something's coming up. Um. Yeah, Roselle, I can't, I don't think there can be anything done. I know there's money left over. She's asking, can anything done be done about SCOTUS's decision living, list, lifting the moratorium? It almost feels like it's out of Washington's hands that, you know, they tried and these people, something to do. They were on the side of the landlords, like, you know. They got, they got to make a living too, something like that. So, um, but I see money's coming in, Biden throwing money at it, just like when, uh, who was it that said that uh, the schools, you don't get paid? What an idiot. If you wear a mask or you insist on masks, there's a poor woman who just got over leukemia, teacher, she just died because they forced her into school. They said, you have to come in. So um, now this, the courts have said, no, at least they've done it to DeSantos. They said, no, you can't, you can't tell people they can't wear a mask. No, you can't do that. Okay. Um, so no, Ro Roselle, there's nothing that can get done. Saran Saran is getting paroled for serving 50 years for killing Robert F. Kennedy. Yeah, he did it. I'm going to tell you something. This may shock you. He did act alone. He had something. He had something against. He, he was whacked. But you know, um, Governor Newsom has to say it's okay. I tend to believe that Newsom would do that. But being that we're getting ready for uh, the recall, I, he might stretch it out. So. Okay. Oh, yes. CKY. But very concerned about uh, the Capitol policeman, Lieutenant Michael Byrd, who shot and killed the terrorist. God bless his sweetheart. Let's take a look at him. Lieutenant Michael Byrd. Like he said, he probably saved lives. 
he because that stopped them from trying to force their way in. People are acting up in arms about Ashley and Trump's calling him a murderer. But as time goes by, they're forgetting about him. I don't see people as riled up and mad at, at this officer. So I do think he'll get a break from this. His cycle will change. He's gonna be okay. He might even write a book. They always write a book, huh? There's nothing here. No, God awful. This whole thing has uprooted him, changed his life. But I actually see him maybe even moving from where he's at right now, getting a pretty decent place, kind of got a good security system. Um, I don't see him being uh, taken out. I just don't. Okay. All right. Let's get some more. Thank you guys for all the. Let's get more questions. Um, Herschel Walker declares he's running against Raphael Warnick. Okay, we need to know if. Um, if Senator Warnett keeps his seat, please answer me the truth, the whole truth. Is Herschel Walker like a football player or something? Was he the one that drew a gun on his girlfriend or something? I, I feel like this guy doesn't have a good uh, energy around him. Walker. Let's check it out. Um, okay. Well, let me tell you, it's going to be tight and it's going to be a struggle, but here's the outcome. So he's celebrating. He's, um, it's almost like when they both won, remember, everybody's like, we're wishing it, but we didn't really realize it would happen. It's like, this is a tough one to fight, but I feel like he's going to do good. I don't see Warnick having to leave. I think he's a good, solid guy. And you know what Angie was saying? The news coverage is terrible. They report, they report reporters are asking the dumbest questions and not giving the least bit of credit for them having withdrawn so many thousands already. And I understand totally, and you and I see it, those of us want well-being and we know what Biden's done. We love him, you know, like he's ours. He's part of our family. Because let me tell you, if Trump was still president and did the same thing, all they'd be saying it was the best thing ever. And this gets me, they were interviewing the rednecks and, um, um, they were saying, oh, isn't it just awful but about those poor Afghanistan people? I, I worry about those children. So how do you feel about them coming to the United States? Nope. They'd all be Democrats. <laughs> so I, I totally understand, but we know the truth. And, you know, the, the reporters are just sensationalism. And listen, that's how they make their money. It's it's just dirty laundry, like Don Henley, that song, you know. Hit, hit them when they're up, hit them when they're down. So no, trust me, Biden will flow right over this. Oh God, somebody showed a picture of Fox News. Biden's numbers drop. Yeah, I bet you wish. It's just it's just beginning. Here's the thing about Biden. He's not gonna do things because of numbers. He's not going to do things and hoping to get better numbers. He's going to do things to help the American people and even the ones that hate him so badly. He wants everybody to be okay. And let me tell you, 
those deaths, it tore him. He just absolutely hated to have to, to call those families or to send that official letter. So um, Ethereal wants to know about the, these wildfires and I, I do feel it hit in Lake Tahoe. I do feel like a volcano going off in Hawaii. Um, we've had some significant solar flares uh, that has switched up the energy a little bit. If you guys are feeling off base, that happened about two days ago. It should lighten up coming up. Okay, thank you. So my guys are saying peace to everyone. Peace to all of you. They want us to breathe. And we warned you. So what they're saying is, you know, they kind of told me via me to you from anybody who's been watching me for a while that, that it was going to be tough. It was going to be tough. It was going to be tough about Trump. It was going to be tough about weather, fires, uh, flooding. We got another hurricane, which I told you guys was going to hit. I think I said Louisiana, Mississippi. It's just one thing after the other. And poor Tennessee, and they're going to get the sprinkles of that too. And Tennessee, was, it's just horrible. You know, people are standing there one minute and swept out the next. It's really bad. But this is all part of the cleansing that's going on. So, yeah, I'm not asking you to do kumbaya and sing around a campfire, but I want you to be present and I want you to put your feet on the ground. And I want you to tell your higher self, help me help myself and others. Visualize the earth in a beautiful white light and pulsating, pulsating, and knowing that this too shall pass. And be gentle with Mother Earth. Love her. Thank her for everything we have. Because even while there's these, like these bombings and stuff, these people think that they're in control. No. There's something behind this that will hit them too. So just know that justice will come. Um, uh, somebody, Ann, asked, will Suzanne Morphy's body ever be found in Colorado? I don't know who she is. Husband Barry is in jail. Suzanne, will you ever be found? No, nah, I just heard no. I think he got rid of that body. Bigly. No. No. You guys remember when I told you about the, the family that the mother and father, baby and dog were found dead? And they've searched for biological things that may have happened? Nothing. Nothing, but remember I told you it might be a murder-suicide. I'm almost feeling like something was given to all of them, including the dog. I mean, you know, for the dog to die too, that's just so weird. Let me see if I can get them. Hold on, I can see them. And the other guy that I said that was dead, that was jogging, and they were still looking for him, and I said, oh, dear God, he's gone. Um, he was hit with the heat he died because of heat related stuff just like i said or they said okay so let me just ask them real quick see if i can get anybody i feel like it's something they digested we maybe it wasn't even meant to kill him maybe it was something that they didn't mean to kill him but the woman had something to do with it It could, they're going to find out something might have been digested. So maybe it wasn't murder suicide. It feels like they didn't realize, like the woman's very upset because she killed her family. Something that was made, something that was made could have been wild fish or something. I don't know what it was, but it sure killed them fast. And then they were walking and they weren't feeling good and boom. Okay. Um, 
So another stimulus is coming out next week for Californians. And I see um, the raise for Social Security and disability come January. And I do see like another stimulus coming, um, mostly because of all this drama going on with Delta. It's not gonna shut us down. If you'll notice the stock market's still beautiful, but I just see like people who need the help will get some help. Uh, so Saran, Saran, is, will he get paroled? I, I, I do think, I do think that uh, uh, Governor Newsom will talk to the Kennedy family The parole board is the one that made that decision. Like he served 50 years. He takes full responsibility for what he did. They might not give it to him. I almost feel like Governor Newsom has to watch what he does because he doesn't want to be recalled. So I'm almost feeling like he might not get it. Okay. Yeah, so Wally said, well, the many different tribes in Afghanistan end up fighting so much, yep, amongst themselves that the country just collapses on itself. Yep, and don't forget, most of this country is 25 year olds on down. I mean, it's a young country and they're not gonna be told what to do. So all these big shots who think they're all that, be careful how you sleep because something will happen. Um, Yeah, they're going to okay the younger children to get the vaccine. Um, so I feel good about our children. I just feel even by Christmas, we're, we're taking a breath of air, like finally, just finally, maybe even because people are getting the third dose, but no, Andriana says, will the disaster in Afghanistan prevent Biden from being ready? No, and Biden's not even worried about it. Don't worry about it right now. This too shall pass. This, it, when at the end of the day, when you look at the numbers and what he did, it, it, the Republicans weren't going to vote for him anyway. Fox News people are going to talk trash about him. I don't care what he does. It, it, it doesn't matter about those people. There's, those people were never going to vote for him. But there's more of us than it is of them. So that's interesting, Sandra. Sandra said, will Joe Manchin win his next election? Joe Manchin, when it's next election. I just saw an explosion in the UK too. I don't know who's gonna throw that one. I just saw an explosion. I don't think that as that many people get hurt, but I, I don't know why I just saw that. Joe Manchin. So he's falling out of his tower. Not looking good for Joe. Interesting, he has better cards coming up here. We'll be happy. Just tell me yes or no. Does Joe mention when? Uh, it says yes, damn it. Yeah, shoot, I was hoping he wouldn't win. Sorry, and you gotta be careful when you don't want somebody to win. You, if, if I think it, then I make it happen, but it's not really what's gonna happen. He's got a lot of trouble trying to win. So, uh, oh, somebody just, Ellen Jung, John Gershis and their infant daughter and dog were found on a hiking trail. And I, again, I feel like it's something ingested, worst case scenario, murder, suicide but it's something ingested. Okay. Uh, okay, I said, uh, I saw pics of 45's Great Wall and some of the gates were open and there was damage from flooding. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Nature. Is the wall ever gonna be taken completely down? Yeah, down the road. Yes, and the families will be brought back together. They're already working on that. Um, Mary wants to know, can you tell us about the new consciousness or shift? It's happening as we speak, Mary. 
Um, all this stuff that's happening to us isn't some plague that's upon the world. It's, it's part of the shifting. Mother Earth has an angry, it's just part of the shifting of the new deal. So our connection with our higher self is very important in order to get through this. Don't be afraid of death. Don't be afraid of drama. Be whole and know that this too shall pass. The less, you, in fact, probably good not to watch the news, the less we focus in on fight or flight, the easier it gets. Um, somebody's, somebody's telling me another big week within the United States government's getting ready to die. I just saw it. I saw so-and-so has died. Somebody that everybody's like, oh no. And then I feel a younger man, maybe next year dying, but not in, uh, he might be in show business or music. Um, okay. So the new consciousness shift is that energy you know is there, but we think it's human. So it's hard to disconnect, but being like a kitty looking at a flower with a butterfly on it. Just look at it. I talk about this till I'm blue in the face. This is Eckhart Tolle talks about this. Wayne Dyer talked about this. And I talk about this, but oh my God, it's very hard to do it. People just, you know, it's hard to stay out of your own head. It start, and so if you have a hard time doing it, do me a favor, ask for help. You knock and it shall be answered. Ask, say, look, I'm obviously having a tough time. It's like with my book, I told them. They said, you're going to write this book. I said, no, I'm not a writer. And then one night I said to them, you know, I'm not a writer. So send me what I need to know. And I had this weird dream. I contacted the person in the dream. Ta-da. I'm working now with people who are helping me write my book. Okay. It just ask, ask, but ask from your true self, you know, and don't be too selfish about what you're asking for. Always, and it's hard, you know, how your parents said, you know, always say thank you and be appreciative. Yeah, 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 whatever. But you really have to be appreciative from the innermost being in your soul. You have to be loving your fellow man. You have to be, um, and it's hard to do, you know, because people are glad like these people who got the, won't get the injection, uh, these preachers, and they said, don't get the injection. And then now they're dying or they're in the hospital. And, you know, some people were like, oh, well, and I understand the anger, but remember the law of God and man is mercy. So don't get caught up in that because it only hurts you. Even with Trump, remember, some people got so mad at me. I said, you guys, my guides are warning me that we've got to get off that. I hate that SOB. I hope he burns in hell. <laughs> you got, you can't go there. You almost have to allow, just say too bad, dude. You know, you don't have to forgive what he did. You don't have to look at him. I'll tell you what, if I see his face come up, I turn it off because it, it, it's like a recoil. And so um, the less we even energize on him, the better it is for us. But don't worry, justice will be found. So don't worry about that. And, you know, and these news media, what are they doing? They're picking up things Fox News is seeing and creating more chaos with all of us. Think about it. They're creating this energy, this resistance. And then what happens? More resistance. If, as we fear this earth going through this thing, if we keep up with that energy, more stuff happens. But let me tell you, the sun is throwing stuff on us right now. It's not the end of the world. And the shifting that's going on, I see more volcanoes. I see hurricanes. The fires feel like they're tying down a little bit, though. They're stopping a little bit, at least here in the U.S. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to end it here. It's Friday. I got some work done today. I, I cleaned my underwear drawer. And let me tell you, that was a lot of work. I went through and got rid of the size two. <laughs> that I was hoping to get back into. And uh, yeah, I got rid of them. I don't wear nightgowns anymore, but for some reason I have a lot. I got rid of all them. I went to town. Okay. So I love y'all. I'll talk to you later.
Cheers.